Hi everybody, I've been asked to make a tutorial about how I did my vinyl for my Grinch ornament that I made a week or so ago. So I'm going to go from start to finish. It's a really easy process and hopefully this will help you out so you can get some Grinch ornaments made before Christmas gets here. I'm going to start by going to Google and just Googling Grinch so that I can find a Grinch face. So just type in Grinch. Now when I get here, I'm going to choose Images. I'm going to go over here and select Tools. And then down here, I'm going to click on Color and choose Black and White. Black and White images are just easier to um, trace in Inkscape. And they just come out a lot more clear. You can scroll through here and, and pick whichever image you want. I just know that this is the face that I want on my ornament, so I'm going to right click on that and just copy image. You're finished with that, so you can just close out Google, and you're going to open up Inkscape, you're going to come in, you're going to right click and paste. That's going to put your image in. Then I come up to the top and I click on this little lock up here so that it will lock the aspect when I change. When I change this from mm to inches. So we're going to change that to inches. I like to trace my original size. It just seems like it comes out more clear to me. So we're going to come up here, we're going to click on path, and we're going to trace bitmap. This little box pops up for some reason. I like to have it over here in the right hand corner. That's just where I'm used to it being. So we're going to choose colors on here. We're going to change this number of scans to 2 because it's a black and white image. We don't need to do that many scans. So we're going to change that to 2. We're going to uncheck smooth. We're going to leave stack scans checked and we're going to check remove background. We're going to update. That's going to give us our preview over here. Then when we're ready to, to scan, we're going to click OK and you're going to see the stop button light up just for a second that means it's done working and then it'll go back to okay it happens really fast so just click on okay and we're done with the scan stop lit up and then it went back to okay so we can close that out now when you come back over here your your image that you just scanned will be on the top so we're going to move him over to the side and we know that this is the one we want because if you look down here, it well, if you look down at the bottom, it says path. That's the one we want. If you click on this one over here, it says image. We don't need an image, we need a path. So we're going to right click and we're going to delete that. Now we're going to come over here and we're just going to click on this arrow and stretch it out to be the size I want it to be. Now if you haven't locked your aspect ratio up here, if you'll just um, touch on control shift and then the then you can adjust the arrow and it'll keep the aspect ratio but since i've got mine locked all i have to do is click and drag on this arrow i'm going to drag it i'm going to get it to about three and a half inches wide so there's just a little bit over um, that's going to be 3.3 high i think that'll be enough I may have to readjust it a little bit when I get it in my silhouette software, but that's okay. And you know what? Right now, if you wanted to make it a lot bigger so you could see what you were doing, you can do that and then you can adjust it back down. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to fill in the eyes with the yellow. Right now, the whole Grinch is selected. So we need to click off of that so that nothing is selected. Then we're going to go over here to our sidebar and we're going to click on the paint can. And then we're going to go down here and click on yellow. We're going to fill in those eyes with yellow. So just put your paint can up there where it's going to drip into the eye. And left click, it fills the eye in. And you're going to do the same thing over here. Now if you'll notice, it did not fill in this little section that's in, like in the pupil of his eye. So just put your paint can there, click, and it'll fill that in. Then you can come over here, click on your selector tool. Anytime you, you go from filling in with paint to selector tool, it's going to select automatically the last little place that you filled in. So no worries there, just click somewhere on the page. 
Now we need to group this all together. So we're going to just, with our selector tool, we're just going to draw a box around that. And you'll see that it's got the dotted line around the whole thing, but then it's got the two dotted lines around the eyes. You can do Control G right there. That will group it all together. And then when you're sizing it, it sizes everything. Okay? So right now when I look at the top, that is a little over five inches high, uh, wide. So I'm going to, whoops. <clears throat> I'm going to just take that down for my four inch ornament. You know what? I think I'm going to go about three, seven something. Okay. So there's that. Now we need to save it so we can take it to either our Silhouette Studio or your Cricut. So we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Save As. Um, I am going to save it in my pictures and I have a Silhouette folder in here. My Silhouette Design. So I'm going to save it in there. I'm going to name it 4 inch Grinch and you're going to save it as a plain SVG okay and then just click on save and then we're finished with Inkscape I'm just going to minimize that then I'm going to come over here to my silhouette I'm going to do file going to open and then I'm going to find my 4 inch Grinch in here, wherever he went, oh, there he is, and open, okay, so there he is, okay, so we're going to be cutting this out of just regular vinyl, if you're going to be cutting this out of heat transfer, you're going to want to reverse mirror the image but we're just going to be cutting this out of red, regular vinyl so in silhouette right now i'm ready to go so if i choose send and then i'm going to choose action and i'm going to choose cut by fill It's hard to see, but if you look right over here, you can see that the black has a darker black outline and the yellow has a darker yellow outline, and that is where the cut lines are going to be. So, in silhouette, you choose which color. You can cut all the colors separately because you're only going to have the one color of vinyl in there so if I'm choosing to cut the black I'm going to uncheck the yellow and as you can see only the black has the dark lines around it that's what's going to cut the black when I want to cut, cut the yellow I click on the yellow it makes the darker lines around the yellow and so it cuts just the yellow and when I applied those to my Grinch ornament when I took when I took them off of my mat, I took them off on the same piece of of transfer tape. That kept them right where they needed to be, and then it allowed me to just place the black Grinch over the yellow, so that the yellow went right in place to where it matched right up with the black. So that's how I that's how I made the decal. That's how I cut my vinyl, and that's how I did the vinyl for the Grinch ornament. I'm actually going to be making a larger Grinch ornament today, and I'll get that video up. I did have some issue with the camera angle on the last video, so I will get that other Grinch video up. I hope this tutorial has helped. Maybe it will make it a little bit clearer to understand how I got the eyes to where they match perfectly into the black. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Come back and check out all my videos. I'll be uploading some more, especially right here before Christmas. Um, thanks everybody. Have a great day.